Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. It's important that when we are performing front lever raises that we hinge through the scapula, meaning that we initiate the movement through the shoulders first. Many athletes compensate by piking the hips in order to make the movement feel easier on the way up. If we round the back and bend the hips, this means that we are not efficiently recruiting the lats and the scapula into the motion. It's important that we firstly depress and retract the scapula and try to initiate the movement through that type of engagement as opposed to compensating through a round back and piked hips. Body Sonax. When performing handstand push-ups against the wall, it's important that you do not allow your forearms to angle backwards. This places unnecessary pressure onto your elbow joints and places you in risk of injury. In turn, this does not emulate the correct handstand push-up movement pattern. Ensure that before you come down into your handstand push-up, that you perform the initial leaning forward motion. So that way your elbows and shoulders form a 90 degree angle with each other as you come down into the bottom face. When the hips are too high during tuck planche, this is often due to the fact that the athlete is unaware of where the hip line is meant to be. You can do this through body stenics. This could either result in the hips being too high but also in the hips being too low. It's vital that with all planche progressions, we aim to keep the hips directly in horizontal line with our shoulders. Body Stenex. The second mistake athletes often make when performing the tuck bent arm handstand hold is sinking the shoulders too far down. It's important that we learn to resist the floor and push through the shoulders with an aim of maintaining a 90 degree angle from shoulder to elbow. This will ensure that we are building the adequate shoulder strength and pressing strength to later move on to more advanced exercises for the handstand push up or even handstand press. If your shoulders are sinking further down than your elbows or even towards your wrists, then this means that you are in a resting position and that you are not practicing to resist the floor using your shoulder strength. Ensure that when you are performing leg raises that you are not lifting your hips up too much in order to get your toes to touch the bar. Doing this is a compensation due to the fact that many athletes lack in hip mobility. Try to keep your hips down whilst lifting through your core so that way you are not initiating the movement through the back. Anytime the hips lift up too much, this means that your back is being recruited into the movement. We really want to target the core during leg raises. This is the reason why we want to keep the hips down as much as possible and lift through the core with the challenge of being able to touch the bar with our toes without lifting the hips at all.
Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Bodysthenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Bodysthenics coach. See you guys in the next video.